Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a hyperpigmentation spot cream. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so to put my cream together today, I'm going to be making a gel-like structure first with some Sepimax Zen. So firstly to my water phase, I'm just going to add my humectant here. I've just got some glycerin. This is going to add some nice suppleness to uh, the skin and it's also going to help protect it from transepidermal water loss. Just going to give that one a little bit of a stir. And now I'm going to add my Sepimax in. Now this will not hydrate straight away. It will take some time. So if you have an overhead stirrer, that's great. You can use that to uh, leave it on constantly stirring. Or you can give it a stir like so to wet the polymer and just disperse it. And then you can uh, cover it and leave it and allow it to hydrate and come back to it. Okay, so once your Sepimax Zen has hydrated, it will form like a really nice, uh, stable gel. Which is what we want to create really good stability in, in an environment where we're using some highly active ingredients. So now I'm just going to pop that one on heat. Okay, and while that's heating, I'm just going to put together my oil face here. So in here I have some Montanov 68. This is a really good stable um, non-ionic emulsifier. To this, I'm going to be adding some Cronemol GTCC. This is a medium skin fill lipid. I'm going to be adding some olive um, squalane. And I'm also going to be adding some Andy Rover oil by Citriol. This is a really nice plant oil. It's going to add some suppleness to the skin as well and help give it some really nice like emolliency as well. And we're just going to pop that on on heat also. Okay, and once your oil phase is melted and nice and homogenous, we're going to add it to our water phase. And we're just going to give that one a stir until a nice emulsion has started to form. So we're just going to give that one a stir to let that one start cooling down and then we're going to add our last phase of material. Okay, so now that has cooled, I'm now going to add in my last phase of ingredients for the hyperpigmentation. So for those of you who don't know what hyperpigmentation is, so it's where your skin cells produce too much melanin. So melanin is what gives you your, um, the color of your skin. So hyperpigmentation occurs when the skin cells produce too much of it. And this could be from a number of factors, could be hereditary, um, could be like a medical condition, could be from medications, uh, can also be from external influence as well. So it could be a number of reasons why. And with products um, that contain actives for hyperpigmentation, it's pretty much wanting to lighten those patches of um, skin, all the, the highly pigmented skin. Now my active here, is the N Transamic by N Carrying. This is used to treat hyperpigmentation. This is nano encapsulated and it's used for lightening um, skin of pigmentation spots and also melasma. Has excellent whitening activity in the treatment of melasma due to its ability to inhibit melanin biosynthesis. It's also good for sunspots and also good for acne marks as well. Now, because it is encapsulated in uh, lipid nanoparticles, this means it allows uh, gradual and prolonged release of the encapsulated active inside it and also reduces the um, skin irritability as well, which is fantastic. So this means it also has greater absorption and also obviously a prolonged release as well. It's also vegan, not tested on animals obviously, and also green technology has been used. There was also a dermatological evaluation of skin lightening done or the effectiveness of it. So this active was used in a serum at 5% and it was used once a day for the periods of 7 and 30 days, uh, which was evaluated by a dermatologist. 
and it was carried out with more than 30 women aged 35 to 55 years old that had the presence of melasma or hyperpigmentation in the face region. And just after seven days, uh, 57% have already shown improvement in the facial spots and also 60% have already demonstrated improvement in the skin uniformity. So really good results there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some uh, ginger extract. This is gonna help with any inflammation as well, a bit of an anti-irritant. I'm also gonna use my preservative, the Yuxal PE90 Turn Up by uh, Shulk. I've just got a little bit of antioxidant in here. Um, two benefits for this one, one for preventing oxidation in the formula because of the presence of plant oils, but also it's a really good antioxidant for the skin. And I've just got a little bit of fragrance in here as well, just to improve the, um, the scent of the cream with the actives being used. I'm just gonna give that one a bit of a stir until it's homogenous. And then we're just going to uh, check and or adjust our pH. And lastly, we're just going to cover and leave it sit overnight just to ensure there's no signs of instability. Okay, and here is what our pigmentation spot cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's remained nice and stable. There's no signs of separation. It's nice and viscous. Feels really nice and uh, buttery to apply. Really nice and smooth. A good thing to remember when using highly active ingredients or actives is to make sure you add some type of soothing or anti-irritant material in there. I've gone and used my um, ginger extract. Um, you can of course use some other anti-irritant or soothing materials. Allentoin is another really good one to add into there. And then always remember when you are using a cream like this, always do a small patch test um, as well, just to make sure that your skin doesn't have a big reaction to it. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a hyperpigmentation spot cream. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating!